Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be talking about who he think he is. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many, many blessings. Father, sometimes we fail to just look at the beauty of Scripture. In your word it says, the grass withers and the flower falls, but your word stands forever. Lord, we ask that you just open our eyes to something new from your eternal word today. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, today's passage is going to be just a little bit lengthy, as usual. And so I'm going to ask you to just stop the video, read Luke 4, 14-30. Luke 4, 14-30. And then we'll hit the reflection time after you've read that. So how can we reflect on this passage that we've read today? It must be difficult to grow up around Jesus. The soccer moms no doubt had talked for years about the details of Mary's pregnancy and her son's birth. As Jesus grew up, the religious teachers would have debated about the child's prodigy was destined to become. And his friends from the neighborhood must have been flabbergasted when Jesus stepped into the spotlight at the synagogue that day. Everyone who knew Jesus would have been wondering the same thing. Who does he think he is? The answer to this basic question comes to us and emerges from Luke chapter 4 verses 14 through 30, the passage that we read today. When Jesus stood up to read from the book of Isaiah, he was indicating at least two very important things about himself. First, was it had a specific mission to preach the good news to the poor, as it tells us in verse 18. The Gospels helps us to understand that a person can be physically and spiritually poor. Compare Matthew 5, 3 with Luke 6, verse 20. But either way, Jesus had come for them both. The second thing was is that Jesus was saying that he was more than just a carpenter's son, as it tells us in verse 22. You'll remember one of the earlier readings that the passage from Isaiah that Jesus read was of four places in the Bible in the book of which describes the coming Messiah, the servant's song. By saying this scripture is fulfilled in verse 21, Jesus was clearly claiming that he was the promised Messiah. You can imagine the stunned silence that followed. All right. Are there any other announcements today? Ever since, people have been divided about Jesus. Some accept him, as it tells us in verse 22, while others are infuriated by him, as it says in verse 28. And you'll see in the rest of our journey through the Bible, Jesus made many more jaw-dropping statements about what he had come to do. For example, John 5, 24 through 27 is a good example of these claims that Jesus made. A person who said what Jesus said and did what Jesus did demands a response. So how can we apply this to us today? If you had been in a the synagogue, had been in the synagogue with Jesus that day, how would you have responded or reacted to his claim? And why? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, we are baffled sometimes at your love for us. And Father, through Scripture we see that Jesus was ridiculed because some believed him and some didn't. But Father, we ask that you show us, even more so, who your Son is. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Hey guys, before we go, in your own words, complete this prayer. Jesus, this is who I honestly think you are. How would you complete that statement? God bless, and I'll see you next time.